Yo, yo, yo! What's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here, and we are ready to start Let's Play number 34. Wow. <laughs> this channel's been going a while, hasn't it? So, uh, those of you who've been watching me for the past five or so years know that I love the Disgaea series. It's a strategy RPG produced by Nippon Ichi Software. Uh, it's been going since 2003, and... It, way back in 2013, uh, they made a little game for their 10th anniversary. It's a sequel to Disgaea 1. It takes place in between 1 and 2. It's called Disgaea D2, A Brighter Darkness, otherwise known as Disgaea Dimension 2. Now, this, this game does not have a lot of online resources dedicated to it for some reason. Um... Which is kind of a shame, because it's definitely the weirdo of the series. <laughs> it's got a lot of mechanics that just did not return in Disguise 5. It's, uh... But I found it kind of charming, and of course, this being the fifth game in the Disguise series, I am going to Let's Play it. The plan is, once again, to do all of the content. Yes, that includes Ball. <laughs> as long as that'll take me. Uh, got it running on my PS3 here right now, and... Well, no time like the present to get started, right? Let's go! Get in there, disc. Yes, thank you. We even got my DualShock 3 all ready to go. <laughs> Talk about a blast from the past. NIS America. Nippon Ichi Software since 1993. So this is the 20th anniversary of... Check this out. There we go. If I was smart, I would have uh, brought up the lyrics and uh, sang along, but I did not. I see a new character. Another new character. Wango's full magical girl. Another new character. The music video ended early. Curse you, Prinny. Ugh, I mashed the right stick at you. Ugh. <laughs> Yes, there's an Easter egg on the loading screen. It's great. It's been six years. Why haven't they patched the music video? That's... That's weird. <laughs> I think you know how the song was going to end, though, as well as the video, so... 
It's not a huge issue. Good old uh, Laharl's castle there. It's a creature of chaos. Let's start with the settings! You, uh, you guys all know that I prefer the B type cursor. Hanging out. Sure, why the heck not? Might as well do something a little weird, right? We are not continuing a save file. We are starting fresh. Let's begin. The netherworld. Darker than a pitch black cave. Deeper than the depths of the seas. A land where ominous demons run rampant. In the past, this world was ruled by an overlord with unrivaled charisma named Krichevskoy. After this great overlord passed away, many demons rose to become the next overlord, plunging the netherworld into an age of chaos. It was then that one demon announced his claim to become the next overlord. That demon was Laharl, the only son of overlord Krichevskoy. He crushed every demon that stood in his way, and forced himself upon the title of Overlord. He was helped by Angel Trainee Flan, and after many twists and turns, the Netherworld and Celestia started interacting. However, because she had harmed other angels, Angel Trainee Flan became a fallen angel, and moved into the Overlord's castle with Lahar. A few years later, Hey there, Flan. It's good to see you again. Hmm. This is strange. They should be sprouting soon. I had them send me UEA flower seeds all the way from Celestia. Did I plant them wrong? UEA flowers. No. It's probably because I haven't given these flowers enough affection. Good old uh, Pretty Land theme from this guy of one there, playing in the background. Here you go. Drip, drip. Good to see uh, Flan is as much of a love freak as ever. Here, here comes Laharl practicing his meteor smash. Laharl is wearing long pants. It must be colder in the netherworld this time of year. No! What are you doing, Laharl? Ah! <laughs> Surprise! I destroyed every star in sight! What? Apparently the demons in the netherworld haven't realized that I've become the overlord yet. If I show them proof of my absolute power, they won't be able to help but admire my greatness. I don't care about that! Huh? You destroyed my garden that I've worked so hard on! How could you? Garden? Who cares? The whole netherworld belongs to me, the Overlord! I decide what gets destroyed and what doesn't. You're terrible! I wanted to show you my favorite flowers! Prince! Oh, hi, Etna. <laughs> You're riding your own meteor. Two craters for the price of one, Grandma. Prince, you're overreacting. If that would 
have been enough to kill you. I would have killed you a long time ago. You are, as always, a terrible vassal. Anyway, Prince, most demons can destroy the stars, you know. You can destroy as many stars as you want, but no one will accept you as the Overlord just for that. What? Are you saying that all my hard work has been a complete waste of time? Yep, absolutely. Why did you tell me that earlier? It's a vassal's job to keep an eye out for stuff like that. Poor Flan. <laughs> she got her garden wrecked on both sides. What's wrong, Flan? You're shaking. If you gotta pee, you really shouldn't try and hold it, you know. No, that's not it. Thanks to you two, my garden is completely ruined. Please apologize to the celestial flowers that were trying so hard to sprout. Celestial flowers? You planted these things right under my nose? Yes, I received some UEA seeds. Although subtle, they bloom into very pretty white flowers. Um, Flan, flowers from Celestia don't bloom in the netherworld, you know. What? Good for you. I saved you from wasting your time. But she already <laughs> wasted her time. Superior. Do that adver adverb and adjective work together? Etna was wrong! How's that possible? You you wrecked them all at the at the heart of evil or whatever it was. Chapter six of the first game. So I've decided to have monuments celebrating my ascension to Overlord set up all over the Netherworld. Edna! I know, I know. I ordered all my vassals to get to work on that non-stop without food or sleep. Pretty squad, get your asses over here. Oh, it does look nice, anyway. Master Edna, is this good, dude? Wow, that is pretty good for you guys. It's our masterpiece, dude! Hey, Actually, he has kind of a goofy-looking face. What? You're the one who told me to make Laharl statues. Look at the antennae! They look exactly like yours, right? Shouldn't you focus on the face? This is amazing! It looks exactly like one! <laughs> Especially the antenna! We've got the Phoenix Wright School of uh, culprit identification going on here. Nobody cares about the face, just the hair. So much? It looks enough like you. Don't be so picky, Prince! really like it, but I guess it'll do. Besides, it'll keep people from assassinating you if they think you've got that face instead of your real face. Now, go erect these Laharl statues. Dancing Prinny. You want to go outside the castle? Talk to the Dimension Guide, Meaver. Same as always.
So yeah, we've got both uh, Etna and Flan following us. Also, treasure chest behind the throne and a mysterious button. Here's Laharl's bedroom, same as it always is. Talk about a fanfare for such a piddly treasure chest. It's too bad it can't recline. <laughs> Ooh, the runes are scrolling. That's pretty cool. The good old uh, castle hallway. Got a lot of vassals around here. In order to protect the castles, all the entrances are blocked off as usual. <laughs> they really are. Weapons! This guy at D2 introduces a new weapon type. It is the book. Books are for characters who are good at magic. Their normal attacks are based on attack and int. They can only attack one panel away. Staz increase multiple aspects of spells, but books only increase their damage. Book weapon skills consist of summoning characters and are based on int. They can be much stronger. The staff has changed a little bit as well. For the most part, staves are only good for characters who use magic. Their normal attacks are based on int and can reach two panels away. This is different from previous Disgaea games, in which they were based on attack. We already uh, have the gist of the other weapons. Fist weapons are based on attack and speed. They usually move the target. Sword weapons are pure attack. They have a variety of areas of effect. Spears move the user and they add both attack and defense to the character. Attacks are very strong, uh, usually single target right in front of you, but they lower either your hit or your speed. Bows, based on attack and hit, uh, can attack diagonally up to four tiles away. Guns can attack in a straight line up to five tiles away. They're based on hit and speed. There are two types of units you can use, humanoids and monsters. Humanoids can equip fists, swords, spears, axes, bows, guns, stabs, and books. Monsters can only equip monster weapons. They don't have favorite weapons, but depending on the type, red or black, different stats will be improved. Red monster weapons increase attack and hit. Black monster weapons increase attack and int. They also increase the range, area, and effects of monster class skills. Weapon Mastery has returned from this guy 1 and 2. When you use a weapon or a weapon skill, your mastery goes up. As your mastery goes up, you learn new weapon skills. Your stats with the sword also increase. Weapon Mastery is multiplied by your aptitudes, to, uh, as well as the uh, stats of the weapon, to determine how much of a bonus you get from equipping the weapon. S is the highest rank of aptitude. There are ways to increase aptitude, yes. Monster Mastery. Monsters gain mastery on their weapons by gaining levels. It's as simple as that. Hey there, pretty dude. <laughs> That music note, that means that this pretty here is a member of our party. I should, uh... There. You feel a slight breeze. Memoria runs the memory shop. This lets you view uh, cutscenes you've seen in the past.
Paparazzi runs the data shop, but he's not ready yet. Just had to take a note of that. This is Grachesko's bookshelf. These books look hard to read. Oh, okay. It's a family album! There's a lot of books. It's a Harl's bookshelf. It looks like there's some of Flan's book he books here as well. It's Etna's bookshelf. She likes manga. It's Flan's bookshelf. There are a bunch of books about robots and superheroes. She'll just kind of join the next battle. Out here, there's a new room. This is where the garden was. As you can see, there's a new NPC here. Coward. Coward runs the cheat shop. This is about the same as it was in Disgaea 4 uh, on the Vita. Only, it's even more powerful. You can change the balance of stat gains here. As you can see, you can raise your EXP, Mana, Money, Weapon Mastery, and Special Skill EXP. We don't need that much uh, money starting out, so I'm going to raise my EXP and Mana gains. As you can see, we have a minimum of 90% and a maximum of 105. Enemy Strength. No more uh, passing stronger enemy bills. You can just raise your stars right here. We're going to stick with zero stars for uh, most of the main game. These condition, these rules will unlock when certain conditions are reached. Same for item world, printies, and fun. Well, fun is uh, just kind of here. You can also turn off EXP gain, Weapon Mastery, and Special Skill gain uh, if you think you are not being challenged enough. With no cancel turned on, you will not be able to cancel any moves or attacks once they are registered. Again, more of a self-imposed challenge sort of thing. No response to the uh, UEA flower blooming. That's fine. There's another printy here. It's Sean. This music note, when it appears, allows you to check your... Uh, it increases your likability with uh, the other characters. As you can see, we've got Etna, Flan, and two printies here, uh, all with normal likability. Likeability influences a number of things. I'll probably uh, save the proper tutorial on that for when I find an NPC that can explain it. Because it has been five or more years since I've actually played this game, and I do not remember at all. <clears throat> Here's another printy. Amos! Things have not changed at all. I don't think he's a member of the party. After seeing this, if you look behind yourself, you will die. Oh no. Got a bunch of vassals here on the upper level, as well as a jukebox. It's broken. King Krachescoi was just the greatest person. There are demons who still look up to him. I think they're up to something. Maharo still has a long way to go to measure up to, uh, to his father. They treat us like we're a haunted house. Always check the clock for an elixir. Whoops. I guess the clock is busted. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. Here are the main facilities, but first, let's talk to Dradic. 
Plain Air runs the Dark Assembly, but it is not ready yet. This is the Hint Board. Ever wonder what your allies think of you? Check your likability by going to the status screen. Oh, we can't even view the help, so, uh, yeah. Save stuff. It seriously looks like it says stunt. <laughs> You've got a very big item bag in Disgaea D2, by the way. No more having to pick and choose items to bring in. You can just bring all of them. It's very nice. Let's see. One of these skulls should have the other secret switch. Rosen Queen brand chocolate milk. Go figure. Mint gum! Tipping one over will create a domino effect. <laughs> Etna, please move out of the way. Duh. <laughs> Minato here runs the item world. It's currently being remodeled. You can climb up on stuff here to uh, get up to the upper level. Like so. Is there anything up here? Uh, I honestly don't remember. Seems like there should be, though. I keep pressing X to jump instead of circle. Oop, I can't quite make it across, okay. Oh yeah, if you press R2, you can do this weird, uh, spinny sort of, uh, screw attack jump. Alright, well, just remember this, uh, drafty corner down here for later. We are going to talk to the Dimension Guide! Oh, actually. The hospital is not open either. So is Rosen Queen. It's a toy vending machine. We got a gachapon for uh, random items. But. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I will show this off now. We've got money for it. As you can see, it just gives us uh, completely random items. Unlike in previous Disgaea's, or, uh, you cannot get innocence just by buying items in the shop. You have to spin this vending machine or roll a... Uh, or roll incense on bonus items from finishing a map. So, you can see now that, uh... Yeah. Okay, uh... Home Run here definitely does not need the Humiliating Emblem. Let's give him the Cicada Husk. Alright. Now then... Even again, before we talk to the dimension guy, let's talk to our let's check out our characters. Whoops. Let me tell you how apprenticeship works. I guess we're doing this. From this screen, you can see a character's apprentices. Characters with apprentices are called masters and depending on the apprentice, their stats may increase. It's a perfect system for you because you're always super bossy. The apprentice may gain things like better weapon aptitudes or learning the master's skills and spells. If the apprentice use their, uses their skills enough times, they may learn the skill permanently. All these little boosts are called extra gain. Yeah, you can see uh, we can change people's weapon masteries a little bit, and as well as their stats by uh, just uh, giving them apprentices. For example, uh, Etna normally has...
Well, okay. Um. Alright, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Let's go to status. You can see, uh, Laharl is, uh, pretty balanced all around. He's got A level in fists, swords, and axes. Uh. His aptitudes are favor mostly HP and attack. His ability, Overlord's Dignity, increases stats by 10% per unit defeated. Unlike in Disgaea 3 and 4, characters can only have two abilities. This applies to any character. One of these is their base ability, and the other can be stolen from another character. I will get into what that means later on. Same thing with Demon Dojo. And here you can see their uh, miscellaneous stats. Etna favors spears, guns, and axes. I'm probably going to... Uh... Yeah, you know what, I might as well keep a spear on her for now. She does have pretty decent defense uh, from her spear. Etna's ability is sadistic. If the target has full health, do 50% more damage. Pretty cool. Flan is your caster type unit. She loves stabs, having an S affinity with stabs. Her int is 120%, her res is 130%. She also has a bit of she also has a bit more SP than anyone else. She starts with the heal spell, so uh, already she fulfills a good healer role. And Heart of Affection increases the target stats by 10% when using healing magic to heal units to max HP. I think that's what that means. We will be able to see once we actually get into a fight with somebody. As for our prinnies... Prinnies are your uh, generic netherworld uh, minion. They explode when thrown. They have a little bit of power. They have their own special skill because they are monsters. They also know the speed boost skill, which is pretty cool, actually. Explosive body uh, deals damage with a range of 2 equal to 50% of remaining HP when they are thrown. So yeah, the other printy is the same as the first one. That being said, I think it is about time we enter the tutorial. Episode 1, Planes of Grief. Battle Basics 1. One more Laharl statue here. Huh? Some demons appeared. Looks like they're the locals. And it looks like they don't want you to put up your statue. What do you want us to do, Prince? Do you really need to ask? I don't care who they are. Destroy anyone who gets in my way. Pretty typical overlord here. Well said, Prince. There wasn't even an ounce of pity. <coughs> I think Etna's a bad example. Wait! I'm sure we can just talk to them. Good idea. I know sign language, so I think I'll let my fist do all the talking. But I gave you a spear. <laughs> Dang it, Flan. It's pretty courageous of them to go up against the Overlord. I shall crush them all and engrave my name into their bodies and fear of the Overlord into their souls. You're trying too hard, Laharl. Just because these enemies look weak, you shouldn't take them lightly. I'll just treat this as a warm-up. So yeah, Disgaea is a strategy RPG. No surprise there. We've got five guys on our team, and we can dispatch them as we see fit. Each character has their own move and jump range. Just If you make a mistake, just select the character and press circle. That'll send them back to the base panel.
You can use L1 and R1 to rotate the camera. If you hold square and press L1 and R1, you can change the zoom. This Gaia is turn-based, but not to the same extent that uh, Phantom Brave is. It's more like Fire Emblem, where you uh, give your characters orders, and then uh, you queue them up, and you execute them. Uh, granted, that's not what you do in Fire Emblem. Here you give units multiple... Here you get, can give multiple units orders before executing any of them. This allows you to set up combos. In that case, they'll attack in the order they were registered. You can do team attacks or combos to raise your damage. So, Etna and Flan are going to attack together. Laharl and Etna are going to team attack. A three person team attack. Team attacks occur when your allies attack while they're standing next to each other. The main attacker has to be adjacent to the enemy, and the team and the partners have to be adjacent to the character. Combos occur when you attack the same unit consecutively. The higher your combo count, the more damage the attack will do. And now, Etna is going to troll Laharl by uh, leaving him alone on the enemy turn. No, oh, or Flan's just going to be an idiot. Oh yeah! <laughs> you can get comboed too, so don't let your guard down. Even if you're defeated, you can heal yourself at the Netherworld Hospital in exchange for money. And even if all your guys are defeated, you don't lose any progress, you just get kicked back to the castle. So don't worry about game overs. Let's begin! Wow, that is slow. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> Here I go! Yeah, you can move your main characters next to each other. Uh, and sometimes they will talk. If you kill an enemy with a combo attack, both characters gain experience. You can see that with the red bar by their levels. Well, that was nice and simple. The Netherworld Hospital and Rosen Queen are now open for business. It's always better to equip stronger items. Try to keep upgrading them. Let's heal up.
Oh, everybody's already fully healed. You can collect prizes by restoring HP and SP and reviving uh, KO'd characters here at the hospital. There's a mysterious button. Something opens somewhere. Shoes increase movement distance and jump power. Glasses increase hit. Good to know. Got 105, and we can buy the first three tiers of weapons already, but, uh, we've kind of got all we, uh, can really use right now. All we can really afford, that is. Could buy a pot lid, but, eh, we don't need it right now. Etna does not want us to peek at her diary. We'll have to do this when, uh, she is not around. So, that is Disgaea D2. Thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we will, uh, continue with the tutorial and see what Laharl and friends are up to. Talk to you guys then. Oh yeah, and don't worry about Pokemon. I'm still doing Pokemon. I'm thinking I will probably alternate videos for a little while. Just to uh, keep things fresh, you know? And, by the way, I am accepting reader submissions for generic units to use in my party. Just uh, tell me what class and name you want, and I will uh, make them as soon as they become available. Okay? Okay. See you guys. I decided to be smart today about uh, how we're going to do these character demos in uh, this and the next game. Uh, that being, we are going to uh, do one character demo at the end of every episode until we've covered everyone. Okay? Okay. The unit of the day is, uh, whoops, spoilers. The unit of the day is Laharl. Laharl is the uh, son of King Krachevskoy. He's the main character here. As you can see, I've reincarnated him a bit, uh, given him quite a good bit of equipment on this file. Uh, I also raised his mastery somehow. Uh, as you saw earlier in the video, his default mastery is A. These are all taught to him by, uh, by his buddies. Nothing to say here, really. Overlord's Dignity, uh, still the same as before, increased stats by 10% per unit defeated. So yeah, let's show off his special skills. Blazing Knuckle is learned at uh, some level or another. Gonna have to do this, aren't we? Oops, uh, I'm gonna have to change the settings. Ally effects, on, there we go. Well, that was embarrassing. Let's try that again. Where are you, Laharo? Here you are. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, Blazing Knuckle, fire type, F level power at default. 
and that's what it looks like. Pretty straightforward, really. It's uh, Laharl's usual signature move. Dang it, Laharl, can you go one turn without killing everybody? Next up, Overlord's Wrath. Uh. There we go. Same as it was in Disgaea 1. Yeah. Meteor Impact, EX! Sea Level. That is a pretty big meteor there, the horror. And finally, Laharl, Etna, and Flan each have a uh, fourth level. Each have a fourth special skill. Most unique characters only have three. So let's get Laharl in here and show off Overlord Dimension Double S. Uh, learned when Laharl reaches level 150. Let's check it out. Wow, uh, there's the file size going right there. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> that is definitely something. Don't let it get to your head, Laharl. I still like Flan better than you. <laughs>